You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Witches of East End After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Witches of East End After Show. Hey everybody, Witches of East End fans, welcome to the Witches of East End After Show here on AfterBuzz. I'm your host, Yael Teagle, and with me, of course, is my beautiful co-host, Candy Van Rosto. Hi guys! We've got Michelle Macedo. Hey! And the amazing, the amazing, <laughs> Majin Amick. Hello! Welcome! Thank you. We are so happy to have you here. We are talking about the sun also rises. Yes, the sun also rises. Yeah. It does. Yes. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> awesome. Now Did I just take it. Did I just take it from you. Yeah. yeah okay. We have it covered. We know what's going on. Um, let's just get right into this episode. Uh, Frederick is around, and uh, the girls finally get to meet him. I love how we start with um, Joanna trying to break it to the girls really carefully. <laughs> and Wendy is like, no, like you got a brother, he's here. Yeah, that's pretty much Wendy. She just cuts right to the chase. Right. She Love doesn't that. waste any time. No. No. She, she, it was going to be a long explanation. She was going to go through all the hundreds <laughs> of years in Asgard and him, it came through the portal. I was like, guys, you got a brother, he's upstairs. <laughs> I think the hardest part as a fan is that we're like, no, we want to know. <laughs> we <laughs> need know. to know what happened. I cut it off. That's, yeah. the, that's the secret. Yeah, that's true. Thanks. You just... Yeah. We well, skip all the long <laughs> explanations. If you heard it, we'd have to kill you, and then it would be <laughs> That wouldn't be good for and then no more fans. Yeah. yeah. No more fans. <laughs> Killed all of them. Um, so let's jump into how everyone's reacting to this news. We start with uh, Ingrid, who we, is found outside um, after she's been sleepwalking. Well, first, we don't know where she is. Right. And at first, I was like, oh, God, are they going to spend the whole episode looking for her? Is she gone? Then she's passed out outside. I thought Come. it was just because she was drinking the night before. I'm like, that's right. happened to me before. Right. <laughs> so who doesn't Did wake up in a yeah. uh -oh. I love when she wakes up and she's like, I had the best night's sleep and I want pancakes. And I was like, oh, I've so been there. I know. And then she's like, tacos. Actually, I was pretty hungry after that. Yeah. So, yeah, I could do tacos. Yeah. So then she wakes up underneath the tree. Which, as we recall, is the week before she was with that creature. That creature in the forest that <laughs> yes. did things. That was, yeah, that was pretty crazy. It that did some unmentionable crazy. things. That's what it looked like. Oh, we mentioned it. We oh, did you? Year. We yeah. talked oh, in depth about did that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, it, did. we were terrified. All the things we thought could happen <laughs> or what was happening or what was going yeah. on. Yeah. There's a lot of things. Do you have any theories about that? Oh, yeah, I know what was happening. All right. Oh, yeah. Without saying too much. Yeah. I guess you can't really go. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know what kind of viewers you have, but, you know, it's pretty much pretty much what you think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. Good. So we're all on okay. the same page. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and after finding out about her uh, new brother and finding out that she's a princess. Yeah. That she, was uh, out of nowhere. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she's a princess. Mm -hmm. So that means... We are all royalty. Yeah, you're all royalty. in our land. So Ingrid goes to the library her first job, her new job, sorry, and she finds the book that explains everything about you. Mm -hmm. And of course, her, her new boss, boss, who hates her, didn't want to give her the job, right. then also punishes her for looking at the book and and, and blames her for handling it improperly and stuff. Yeah. I don't like that guy. No, he needs to go. Yeah. Well, and does. I'm glad that he <laughs> I think did. he did, yeah. I was so happy. <laughs> I know, me too. I was like, oh, good. That guy really sucked. But I don't know if this is going to affect having the job or not. Well, I mean, he says that the guy, that he didn't want to hire her, his boss wanted to hire her. Exactly. Yeah. So without him, it doesn't match. Still got yeah, the job. Yeah, that's true. Because the boss was under the spell. Yeah. That they did. Mm. So not him. Not at all. him. So he was like, what are you even doing? Didn't yeah. even let her do her job. Mm -mm. And she found the book with all the information that I just want to read. I want that book. I know. That what book happened to that awesome. book? What did she do with that book? Well, she read the book. And then what? She translated it. And then I love that he was trying to take it, and it got stuck. It got stuck to the <laughs> table. <laughs> that stuck. was so good. Do you think, I was wondering, if is he just a not nice person, or is he part of something else bigger, more evil? I think if we jump ahead to the scene where he 
has, has the mark on him and he's shouting. Right, but was that just he an is accident? Part of a bigger thing. I, right. I think he's someone. Or was he just a rando that got pulled by a shadow? I wish at Fourth of July picnics they just did that to people I didn't like. That just Fourth of July shadow. picnic. I know, man. What did you think of that Fourth of July picnic? All it sorts was of stuff happened. Right? Your snow cones looked good. They were good. Did you get to eat those? I did. Oh, yummy. I don't I don't waste those opportunities. Yeah, clearly. But I had to, I had to fight I a lot them. of kids to get those snow cones. <laughs> did you see all those kids? I did. Yeah, there were a you lot were of the them. Only really? adult yeah, you were the I know. only adult getting snow cones. I loved that. Guns. I was yeah. standing in line above all the other kids. Yeah, totally. And really annoyed by them. Like, why? <laughs> Could you hurry, please? Can, I need my snow cone. Can you tell us about this uh, Fourth of July picnic? Did they, like, set up the whole park? Yeah. That was, like, a legit That was a festival. legit park. And they filled it with people and rides, and it was amazing. That oh, wow. sounds so fun. Yeah. Did it you get really to fun. go on any of the rides? No. You were busy. busy. <laughs> a little busy. <laughs> to be an extra on that scene. Yeah. <laughs> right. I like how Wendy's bo- little lo- boy toy was uh, at the yeah. park. New little paramedic guy. Yeah. Little paramedic, yeah. letting yeah. people ride on his fire engine. I know. <laughs> that guy. Well, did you see those well, in the background? Well, yeah. They had really great old cars and fire I didn't engines. even see that. Oh, yeah. there were, I just saw a bunch of rides and stuff. Well, let's talk about Tommy the EMT. Yes. Yeah. So in the beginning of the episode, Wendy, in cat form, yes. uh, goes to visit... Mr. EMT. She's house. a curious little kitty. Mm-hmm. 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 Isn't there a saying about curious cats? <laughs> there yeah. is. Well, she goes, she sees him with a woman and a child. Yeah. I was just was as heartbroken as the cat was. was like oh. priceless. When the she cat saw the face. Wife. Yeah. Yeah. It was like turned into a crazy human face, and I was like, did, was that just a real cat that <laughs> turned into a not real cat? Very talented cat. Yeah. <laughs> clearly very mm-hmm. well trained. There's one in particular that's really good at like, Really milks every scene. Like, come, mm. you're supposed to go around the corner, <laughs> and you know, yeah, the trainer's calling him, and every time, he like stops at the corner, looks around, does a little thing, and then goes. On. Like that. <laughs> that's my kind you of know, cat. Yeah, you know. So, are you very friendly with all the cats? I'm friendly, but I am allergic. Oh, oh. me too. So I love them from afar. Mm. Badly I mean, allergic? I I pet them and I snuggle and then I pay for it. But yeah, yeah, they're great cats. But you know, you gotta. But get you know, to know you each know, other. F- not a fun fact. It's there's black cats are are rare in animal trainers because they can't find many mm-hmm. because they euthanize them the I most because most families don't want to adopt them because they're worried about the. Mm-hmm. The superstition. The superstition. I have heard that. Sad. That is very you sad. Know, start a campaign to save all the black. You cats. should. Yeah. Yeah. Should be like they could be just witch people. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Who what knows? Then you're killing people. all the witches. Yeah. You're exactly. Killing off Wendy. Yeah. Exactly. There all could the be a Wendy in every black. Especially. Cat. <laughs> yeah. And hey. they come with awesome jewelry. That's too. why I think you should adopt them because you never know what they might turn into. Yeah. Done. I think Sold. we have our campaign. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have our campaign. I need a, a handful of black cats now. Yeah, seriously. Um, so Wendy at the uh, festival, at the 4th of July party, keeps getting these chills. Yes. Um, and I want to know, when you first read the script, because you can't tell us what you know now, but when you first read the script, did you? what did you think those chills meant? Well, I thought that it was either that I felt them when Frederick was around, mm-hmm. um, or well, pretty much it's that she can tell if something bad's going to happen, which it did end up. Yeah, with the guy being carved. Does she have the power of premonition, or that's Freya, right? Yeah, she doesn't have like she can sense things, but she doesn't necessarily know what they are. Well, Freya just can, can really yeah. kind of understand her intuition. Well, I, for one, am sure that that chill I've decided is for sure Frederick. I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. I don't trust him. I'm on Wendy's side. That's right. For sure. (laughs) Wendy knows, man. But listen about Wendy and the EMT guy. Mm -hmm. Then you kind of, like, give him another chance, right? Yeah, well, he looks at me with those, like, beautiful brown eyes, those puppy dog eyes. But then he he has, like, but, you know, he's separated. His baggage. His baggage. baggage. She doesn't like that. And then that little bratty girl comes up. <laughs> but you can always call him way <laughs> too adorable and just ew. <laughs> totally <laughs> ew. I thought that too. Yeah. Um, but you could always call him on his number, which is 911. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Didn't you love his reaction at the end? Yeah. And I was, yeah. That was smooth great. Line. He was like, yeah, that was yeah I did line. that. <laughs> did that. Boom. Walks off. I know. Can we ask what happened to your bug guy, Freddie Prince Jr.? Oh, yeah. Um, 
Bug Guy is probably on a really, really long trek in the Himalayas right now. Okay. So, like, getting there another so butterfly. May, you know, hey, maybe Bug Guy comes back. I don't know. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't, like, some big fallout that we somehow that missed. Somehow mm-hmm. missed, yeah. No. Okay, good. Wendy just moved on. Yeah. I love how Wendy has so much game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she does Wendy doesn't need to, like, stick with the bug yeah, guy or the EMT. Yeah. Yeah. She can juggle them all at the same time. I believe If that. needed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Double book some. <laughs> it's not a biggie. Let's talk a little bit about Freya, who has a very interesting uh, storyline this week. Mm-hmm. With finding out that she has a twin. Yes. And she can astro project. Yeah. Yes. Or was it thought body? Yeah, I, I love, yeah. I love like that. that. I uh, yeah, I was trying to remember what exactly that word was. Mm-hmm. That was it. It was thought, thought body. body. Thought body. Yeah. So she astral projects with her twin. Mm-hmm. Yes. So do you, oh, you want me to keep that, going? No, I mean, I, I was just saying that was pretty crazy. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, yeah, well, you know, we're twins. So that guy was saying, oh, we're just twins. So that's why you feel so connected. And you we have can do twin. all this stuff. I have a twin. Did have you try, identical have you tried twin to thought body yet? Um, we have. Okay, and did it work? Not yet. I'm trying to thought body myself into that Caribbean island that they yes. get to. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still here. So. But see, here's the thing. Oh, yeah. If you go to the Caribbean island with your twin and you've thought bodied, you have to ha- ha- hold hands the yeah. whole time. See, whether or not it would get Alice in the come, way a little yeah. bit it, with some stuff. That's true. Like drinking. Drinking, dancing. How can you double fist it? When you're holding when, your twin's hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest problem I've run into, for what sure. What an interesting question. <laughs> it's true. It's something to think about. Yeah. Um, um, I'm glad I don't have a twin to keep me away from. Are you identical? Yeah, we're identical, yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, yeah. I think you could get in, into even more trouble if you're an identical I know, twin. exactly. Mm-hmm. We do. We get in a lot of trouble, mm-hmm. i got to say. But uh, we definitely don't uh, astral project yet. Okay, we'll keep working on We're it working and, on. Let, and report back. Yeah, definitely. Okay. What you need is someone like Frederick who knows all the spells and knows how yeah, to see, do it. Yeah, see, my twin didn't live in, like, a magical land for a long time for and hundreds knows how of to years. do everything, yeah. yeah. So I love the dynamic points. Frederick brings this season with the sisters and just, you know, it's just not all women in the house having yeah. a man in that house. It's it's nice to watch. Yeah, yeah totally. It's really interesting that we have a show that is all these strong female characters mm-hmm. and we're bringing in this guy and I'm, I, he's a villain, guys. He is a villain, He's a villain amongst them. Yeah. I mean, you when, can't trust those baby blue eyes. No yeah. way, especially when they turned they all red. They sparkle way too much. They turned red when he was well, protecting that's Freya. Thing. When he was protecting Freya, a guy grabbed her in a bar, then he like tries to strangle him, and his eyes got all red and crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, he's capable of a lot mm-hmm. worse than we think. And he's fresh out of Asgard, so he's got all of his powers all like yeah. fresh and built up. Yeah, he doesn't know how to keep it on the DL either. No. So that's Which dangerous. is a lot like Wendy, to be honest. Yeah, that's she, true. You know, she does have a little bit of a soft spot for Frederick, but not since the whole betrayal. Mm. So Which, she's by the way, this, not this new him. episode, you're going to see quite a lot. Ooh. Mm. Can you tell us more? You're going to see <laughs> that betrayal that happened and why Wendy doesn't trust him. That's what oh. I want to see. I'm like, it. oh, it's what coming. happened? That yeah. was so bad. It's coming. So do you believe when Joanna is saying, like, oh, well, he healed me, so he healed me for a reason, and I could sense his, like, for that forgiveness, I could sense that he wanted to be forgiven, that he was sorry. Do you believe any of that? No. It's all, it's all BS. <laughs> you think he just... I think he saved her for Ed, for another purpose. Mm. Ooh, mm-hmm. another purpose. I'm so excited now. <laughs> I'm dying to know what's going on. So let's real quick talk about Killian on the island. Yeah. Killian, oh, yes. who is gambling and unintentionally cheating. Yeah. Um, this is good at it. Yeah. And I think it, it's a nice parallel with him and Dash both figuring out um, their powers. Right. Yeah. But I love that Killian uh, is cheating and winning <laughs> and then accidentally breaks that man's hand. Yes. Oh, yeah. And freaks out and, of course, goes through a ritual with his owl girlfriend, Eva. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I love um, that when, sorry, when Freya and Frederick are on the island and the owl attacks them, it was just this amazing, um, like, flashback for me to the episode where you before when you said, like, no, it's going to protect and, and um, block them from you. Right. It was just a great, like, hey, this is a metaphor, and yeah. here it is. And it's happening. And yeah. it's a predator, so yeah. it could be protecting in order to destroy. Mm. Mm. Now, do you guys think that Owl was the girlfriend? Because she has some kind of witchy power yeah. also. Oh, yeah. I think so. I think so. I think definitely. I think she knows more than she's 
letting on. She's like acting all innocent. Like, oh, don't you want to go home? You want to go home, right? I don't trust her. I don't trust her either. I am full of distrust, apparently. <laughs> well, no. you're not. You're 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 on the right track. Yeah. Good. So yeah, everyone, you've got good witchy instincts. Yeah. Be pessimistic, people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust anyone. I, I trust Frederick. I think he's really? he did his bad, and I think I really think he's trying he's to changed. like yeah. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Well, <laughs> I admire your optimism. Yeah. yeah, I try to you know get the benefit of the doubt. It's because he's so handsome. Yeah, he's also. I guess that gets me in trouble a lot in life, but yeah. still. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So uh, let's move on to. Um, to sorry, Dash's story. Yes. He's being blackmailed. He pays the blackmailer, and his hallucinatory Killian is like, don't pay him, he's just gonna keep uh, asking for money. Yeah. And then, so now I'm thinking, I know the last time that that for the last episode, we talked about how perhaps Killian is just projecting himself into Dash's world. But now I'm thinking he's hallucinating. Yeah. He's just Dash is hallucinating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just losing it. We discussed the astral projection, and then somebody on uh, our YouTube really was adamant that we were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that that Killian is astral projecting himself into yeah. Dash. Yeah, that's yeah. what Dash's we thought. World? Yeah. That's what maybe we thought, that he figured it out, but I don't think no, that's No, I'm true. back to thinking he's hallucinating. So he's YouTube hallucinating. Person it's like right. his, it's his little devil on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you think that, that Dash has turned evil now? Because when the tarot card reading, it said, like, one is a destroyer and one is your soulmate. Yes. Do you think that maybe he's turned evil now because Freya left him? Or that it was always that way? Well, um, I would say that I think there's always, like, a, a through line. Have you sort of put together these, like, seeing their... Um, characters like in past lives, kind of thing, mm-hmm. even, right? So yeah. you're kind of catching on to that. So that 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 true self always comes through. Mm. Maybe in one, you know, life you're trying to work on things and you're trying to be good, but then something kind of spurs and kind of brings out the truth in mm-hmm. you. So that's my theory. Mm. Is so that. it's always been there. Just so he's been there, and maybe he's been doing good so far, and then something. Yeah. You know. All right. Something triggers. Okay. Well, good. it could be that he has his magic now. Right. And so with magic comes great responsibility. Well, with all witches, you know, we all um, kind of dip into the dark side and we try to stay in the light. So mm. I think Dash is in the dark side a little bit right now. Wendy has had that in the past, mm. in New Orleans and in, in her voodoo days. And she tends to go there when she gets angry. And she was Makes reckless sense. up until now with her lives. Yes. So now that you're on your last life... Yeah. Is that, it's do hard. you feel that you're living life every day to the fullest more or that you're living in fear of always dying? A little bit of both. Okay. Every, there's st- the stakes are very, very high. And so when her sister reminds her about like, you know, you only have one life left. You might want to make something of this, you know, little cute little flirtation you got going with this guy. Is he some, something special? Uh, and then every time she like defends her family, it, she is putting her literally mm-hmm. her life on the line. Yeah. I love that Wendy um, sees life as just this oyster for her to eat play in. It. Yeah. <laughs> that everything is is available to her and that it is her last life she's got to do it. Yep. It's definitely the refreshing the refreshing taste that family needs for mm-hmm. sure. She Someone to come in and be like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Refreshing. So, I know you can't tell us too much um, but what are some things that we can really look forward to, just in general, for in the general, rest of the season? The rest of the season, uh, you definitely get to see Dash and Killian uh, getting to use their powers a lot more. Um, Freya is just always stuck in these love triangles. Yeah, poor thing, and they keep you know shifting into a new kind of love triangle. So that content she continues to struggle with that. Uh, Ingrid is is because she is so powerful. She draws a lot of attention, so she ends up kind of being the the target for some bad stuff coming mm. coming through. Mm. She is the key. She is the key. Yeah. yeah. And um, Mama Witch Joanna now has all of her kids, 
and with her sister constantly telling her that her son is bad. Mm. What was inter- I thought what was interesting is last season, Wendy and Joanna had a different take on Frederick. Wendy was the one that was like, you know, maybe one day you're going to see him again, and you know, don't give up hope. And mm-hmm. she was like, nope, it's done, it's over. You know, mm-hmm. it's bad. And then all of a sudden, he shows up on the on the yeah, front doorstep. What changed your mind? Yeah, he saved hello. Her. She well, remembered. and that she, you know, she's the mom, and yeah. she has yeah. a soft spot, and her son came back, and he's got all these really great excuses. And Victor uh, is also part of the family. Victor's part of the family, and oh, right. yeah, he's a. I'm telling you, anybody who comes around this family of witches, they get in harm's way. Mm. Mm. What can you tell us about the super mysterious villain that we have? We know basically nothing about whoever it is, if it is Frederick, if it is this green tentacle thing, yeah, um, <laughs> if it is something else completely, the shadow. Um, yeah. What can you tell us? I can tell you that there is a, as, as big as the villain was last year with Penelope, mm-hmm. this villain is way bigger. And, and it is connected to our uh, Asgardian past mm. and our royalty and our, uh, the split in the family that happened. And so w- the things that are being sent through the portal after us, there's all a connection. It'll all sort of come together. But there's a lot of things coming at us with the really big villain looming in the background. Mm. So it's safe to assume it's not human. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I guess not. I guess we don't know. It could well, change into a human, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that is that is intense. And uh, for another very important question, you are not wearing clothes a lot on a the lot. show. A lot, yeah. A lot. How do you feel about that? Um, I feel like I have to work out a lot, and I have to be really careful with what I eat. <laughs> and uh, then when you're doing it, you just got to go for it. So can we expect a lot more a naked lot Wendy? A lot more all the time. Good. I read a script and I go, oh, okay. Yeah, I still right. can't eat. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Just, uh, you look amazing. Me. Yeah, you look Thank amazing. You. But I do love the way they use it. It's very, like, it's not gratuitous. No. And it's not sex related. No. It's sort of like an additional kind of comedic beat. Like, it's yeah, fun. Naked. Yeah. I love it. I love that both this season and last season we start with meeting you naked. I said that. <laughs> I said that. I said and weirdly, that's actually the way we shot it. First, <laughs> oh God! First thing put fun. on film in the pilot mm-hmm. was Wendy naked on the ground, just being hit by the car. Mm-hmm. Mm. First film for season one was Wendy naked, just being brought back from the dead at the toilet with Ingrid mm. when she was kind of sick from being brought back. Yeah. First thing put on film for season two was Wendy shifting coming in from the forest and shifting in it. I was like, this is the way, hey, it's good luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is good luck, yeah. Wendy naked. I can't wait for seven more seasons of it, at least. (laughs) You know, know, you can't really, if you wear cat clothes, then you can't really transform into a person. But it was fun to see Wendy, uh, no. That would just not work. work. (laughs) The only thing that stays is the necklace. Yeah. I love that necklace. Yeah, that's a great necklace. You get to see more of the necklace too in the next episode. There's, oh. a, you get to see the story behind the whole Ooh, yeah. necklace and the changing of color and what oh, it means. Good. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I think at this point we should go into our predictions for next week. Yes. Ooh. And now your After Buzz TV predictions. <laughs> um, all right, Candy. I think Killen. Well, he will be back next week, and. Freya's going to get to see him. I think she's going to miss him maybe in the beginning of the episode because it showed her going to go see him in the Caribbean and then maybe coming back and mm. her proclaiming her love. And he's like, well, I'm with this chick now. Yeah. Sorry. And her heart broken again. But Interesting. Um, yes, Michelle? I'm going to predict some. I- I'm just waiting to see what happens with Dash. I'm interested in seeing what happens with him and his anger and when how out of control it's going to get. Um, I guess you can predict what you would like to see. What would you like to see <laughs> yeah. for Wendy? For maybe. Wendy. What about Wendy? the EMT guy? Without yeah, I think we need to definitely anything. see more of Wendy and the EMT guy. I'm oh, predicting yeah. some more stuff with them. <laughs> awesome. I wish mm-hmm. it was uh, Butterfly Dude. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh. Hey, me, me, it's both. Oh, that's true. 
I'm going to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that game Maybe I she told goes you? Out. Yeah. She goes out on a you know, yeah. triple date. Exactly. Sounds she double boats it. <laughs> awesome. um, I'm going to predict from just from the promos that Victor has been kidnapped and is being tortured. Um, yeah. For some reason, that's not a prediction. But I'm, you saw that in the. Yeah, you had to go with something sure. else. Okay, sure. Sure. why? <laughs> a premonition. Why do I? Yeah. Why do, maybe a why do you think? He's why do I tortured? think he? I don't know. I'm so excited to find out. Um, but I think I think that Ingrid and Dash are gonna become a thing. That's you my prediction. Do. Yeah. Wow. They've got the same. Um, Brain, brain enema. Yeah, yeah, that's a sign so from... So it's a soulmate yeah, thing. Yeah, that's Cupid mm. saying you guys should be together. <laughs> yeah. How romantic. Yeah. Your MRI looks like mine. Yeah, that's super romantic. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> um, so, Machen, tell us where the people can find you on Twitter and Instagram and anywhere else. Uh, my handle for Twitter is at Aunt Wendy the Cat. <laughs> Adorable. Mm. Uh-huh. She's a little black kitty with a pimp walk. Yeah. And um, Instagram is is just my name. Okay. Uh, and then I do have a, an official Facebook page. I haven't been officially verified yet, but it is me. Okay. Cool. So, but there's a lot of other fake ones. So find the one that's that's you. That's me. We'll cool. make sure AfterBuzz gets that out to everybody. Okay. And Michelle, where can the people find you? Uh, you can check me out at Michelle Macedo M. Awesome. Candy. You can find me at Candy Buen, C A N D I E B U E N, on Insta and Twitter. Awesome. And you can find me online at yell.tv. That's Y A E L.tv. There you'll find awesome information about these stylings from Siren's Boudoir. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Google, and YouTube at Yell Teagle. That's Y A E L T Y G I E L. And we will see you next week. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Awesome. 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 Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.